Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're back with part three on the construction and testing of my common mode current tester. Um, if you recall in part one, I was able to demonstrate that uh, there was quite a bit of a reduction uh, going through this common mode current choke coming from my antenna through the choke and then uh, to my transmitter. So I have these two leads and these two toroidal sensors connected to my common mode current tester. Now, I want to make a correction uh, to this test because this test that you saw in part one is not valid. And that was brought out to me by Mr. Owen Duffy in a blog where he was asked for his thoughts on uh, my common mode current tester. And he brought up a, a very interesting concern and here it is. So what he was mentioning was when, if you look at the video, this uh, common mode current choke was connected to this bulkhead. Now this bulkhead goes through and it was connected to the antenna. The problem with the measurement was that this common mode currents were flowing through the bulkhead to the choke were also flowing into this lab steel cabinet. So we had currents flowing through here and current flowing through the choke and then on through the choke uh, to the transmitter. This is an invalid test because a lot of that current was absorbed in this steel lab bench. So we're going to repeat the test and see what the difference is. Uh, and we'll do it right now. We're using the same setup, same frequency, 14.25 megahertz. And we'll calibrate the, the tester by applying some RF here. And we'll put it on channel B. Channel B, again, is the incoming from the antenna. So what we want to do is calibrate channel B with the sensitivity control so it's full scale. And I already have calibrated, you can see it's full scale. Okay, the next thing we do is we wanna to shift to uh, port A, which is the toroidal sensor coming out of the choke. And we're going to see what the difference in, in the relative meter reading. Remember, this is, this is just a relative indication. So now let's go to channel A. And then the reduction we can see is about six on the scale. So 50 microamps in, six microamps out. So if we calculate that out, that comes to 88% uh, reduction. An 88% reduction in the common mode current. So we just took 50 coming in minus the six coming out of the choke. Divide it by the incoming 50 uh, mil microamps times 100. Come up with 88%. I think in the other video it was more towards 97%, which was not accurate. I just wanted to clear the air on that. And if you haven't seen videos one and two, please watch them. And then go ahead and comment if you have any comments or suggestions. And I'll always appreciate a thumbs up and please subscribe too. Thank you and we'll see you on the next video.